Gambling at the casino is a fun night on the town for many of us, but for some, gambling is an addiction, just like alcoholism. And all the new gaming venues here in the tri-state create new temptation for compulsive gamblers. Tonight in a special Healthy Living Report, see what causes addiction and how one tri-state man finally found help. The ads are seductive. Your moment is waiting. It is a high. Gambling yeah, seduced Mike H. more than 15 uh, years ago. When the boat came to Lawrenceburg, is when it started for me. And if there was a way to gamble, I would have been gambling long sooner, believe me. I sure would have. Oh, look at 11. Blackjack, roulette, and slots became much more than games to Mike. It's a compulsion. I'm, I'm very compulsive about it. I'm a compulsive gambler. But why is it that some of us can play and win or lose and then just walk away while others become addicted? The answer is in your brain. And there's a part of the brain that's deep inside the brain uh, called the nucleus accumbens that's responsible for reward processing. Dr. Steven Strakowski is director of psychiatry at UC Health. He says addictions may develop because of deficiencies in this reward center. Gambling, video games, the internet all activate these same parts of the brain that launch something called dopamine into the nucleus accumbens that tells your brain this is potentially rewarding. Dr. Strakowski says many addictions go hand in hand. Mike is also a recovering alcoholic. And like many alcoholics, he smokes. I'm addicted to anything that... that uh that, uh, that makes me feel good, I guess you could say. And I do it until I hurt. The hurting threatened Mike's business, his marriage, and one night, his life. I had been drinking and was coming back from Argosy. Flipped my van, almost killed someone, and ended up having to go to the hospital. Mike's wife gave him an ultimatum. Yeah, you're having an affair on me, and it ain't with a woman, but you're having an affair with me down there with that boat. Mike finally found help at Gamblers Anonymous, and now he's paying it forward by answering calls for their helpline. But you just take the time. Absolutely, yeah. I have to. Gamblers Anonymous gives Mike support to resist temptation, especially with all the new gambling venues in the tri-state. It certainly doesn't make it any easier for someone that is compulsive like me. I mean, you know, when it's coming at you from every billboard or every commercial. All right. Perhaps he can't change a compulsive personality, but Mike has found a new, healthier addiction. He's sober and abstinent, and it feels good. That ain't success. I don't know what ain't. That's pretty good. For help and information about Gamblers Anonymous, we have a link on our website, wcpo.com, under Healthy Living.